Welcome to this Football Manager 2018 tutorial where I'm going to show you how to install the free FM18 editor and also the in-game editor. I make this video every year for the simple reason that it is the question that people most ask me throughout the year and I like to direct them to a video so they can watch the video and install it at the same time. So here goes, uh, first of all you need to open up Steam. Now the full game has now been released so if you haven't updated from the beta version make sure you exit Steam, open it up again and it should start to download for you. Once it has downloaded what you need to do is go to library and then click on the little button called games here then click on tools and scroll down and you should be able to find the Football Manager 2018 editor there so that will appear if you have installed the game properly. Right click on that and press install game and then it will start to install. Once it has installed you have the option if you right click you can press create desktop shortcut or you can just press play game if, from this menu if you if you so wish and there we go it's opened. I'm pretty sure it will look exactly the same or very similar to the previous editors. If you're interested in me making some editor tutorials for example how to create a club, how to create a player let me know in the comment section below and I will make some for you. Next up then is the in-game editor. Now you do have to buy this one. The first one I showed you was the free editor that you use to edit databases before you start a new game. Make sure if you do want to use those files when you start a new game that you select that database file. So to download the editor that you can use in-game, click on download tick. Well make sure you're on the Football Manager menu. You need to make sure you've opened up Football Manager first of all. Then you click on downloads and it will go to the store. Here's the in-game editor, you've got the Steam Workshop as well, but it will open on the in-game editor if you haven't bought it. And it's $3.99 and you just click buy now. And then you just go to checkout, just follow all of that stuff. Once the purchase is complete, you'll get this little pop-up thing. And then if we go into a game or start a new save, you should be able to use the in-game editor. There is the option to use the online manual if you need a little bit of help with the in-game editor. You do need to make sure in preferences you've got, got it ticked so you can actually use it, this one here. So show in-game editor in the menu bar, tick that and it will appear in your game. There is the option to disable that, disable the in-game editor for certain saves. I tend to do that because I don't want to use the in-game editor most of the time. I only use it for experiments and uh, score one, still one series, that sort of thing which will be coming to my channel very soon. So if you want to see the in-game editor in action, check out that series on my channel. So here you go, it's popped up here and you'll be able to start doing stuff with players, with clubs, with whatever really. So have fun. I hope this tutorial was useful. Please hit that like button if it was. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That would be much appreciated. Enjoy Football Manager 2018. I'll see you very soon.